Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I brought you to New York. We're in Manhattan at one of the most exclusive areas just down the street from Central Park. As you can see right behind me, we're at 730 Park Ave. And we're gonna take a look today at a condo that's combined of three separate units. It has seven bedrooms, eight bathrooms, three half bathrooms, built in the early 1900s, and it's asking $38.5 million. I'd like to give a quick shout out to the listing agents for allowing us to do this tour. And on that note, let's head upstairs and check it out. Follow me. Just off your private elevator, of course. Even this room is just something special. Look at, you're in like an enclosed area. The finish on the floor and that signature mirror right in the front takes us right into the apartment. Look at this place. Notice on the floor the length of each plank. Nearly everything in here had to be craned through the window because of how large it is. So when you're looking back on the entrance where we came in, obviously this is the elevator. Down here is the master wing. So we're gonna keep this closed for now. Come back towards the end to check it out. But let's just take a look right when you walk in. My favorite feature, the minute I saw it, I was just like, I know that this is it. Look at these stairs. You know, we see all kinds of stairs down in South Florida, but just the detail of each step, the lighting underneath and the same finish right on the wall over here. It continues down even towards the steps that take you up to the, the rest of the stairs. It's beautiful. But right over here, here's your living room. Look at this. You got your sitting, hangout kind of spot right here. A couple, a couple friends having a couple drinks. And then on the opposite side, you have the more sit down, lounge layout spot over here. And this is actually a really cool feature about this condo is that when you come to down to this side, you have these sights like cut in through the wall so you can see directly out this window. And what do you know? That's Central Park over there. So you got an amazing view just coming through all sides of the property and right off your living room. And notice a fireplace on those extremely cold New York days and nights. So coming off this room, we're gonna head down over here. It's gonna take us into the office. We're gonna pass the first half bathroom. Look at this sink. This entire sink is just one piece of marble that had to be craned into here. And then even just the lighting comes from behind the silver finish on the wall. In this little portion before we get into the office, you have these suede walls taking us in. And look at this. This isn't one of the bedrooms. This is literally just the office. You have a nice library section over here, a fireplace. So you had one in the living room, one right over here couple places to hang out, watch TV. And then you have your corner view desk overlooking inland, inland, I'm so used to Miami. <laughs> you have your corner view desk overlooking the city and that beautiful, all the life about New York takes us a little bit further down and takes us right back in to the living room. The wet bar is over here, suede finish on the walls continues. So now that we've finished with like this half, let's come back around this way. I wanna take it to you as if you're going to look at it fully. So we're going to walk down here and you can get to this through that office, but we're going to take the official way of getting in. We're going to slide this door. Look how nice that is. And it goes completely into that wall. So if you're entertaining, you're most likely to keep that closed and private, but for purposes like this, we just come right in. And this is the official door of the master bedroom. And the cool thing about this, you'll notice, let me push it in a little bit more, it's flush in here. And then when you pull out, the door comes out of the wall. So it's completely nice and hidden. And then the thickness of this door is, it's the length of my entire thumb and it just creates a complete sound barrier. And it can also be used as a safe room because it, it locks up and can't be open from the outside. Which, you know what? Sometimes you need a safe room in your house, but not in this neighborhood, this is a good neighborhood. Anyway, come on in comes a little bit further down, and on my right, you're gonna have the master bedroom. We'll take a look in. Right when I walk in, you got that same door that we saw on the entrance. Once again, it's just so thick to get in, and then boom. This is just, you just stop for a minute, take it all in, try not to freak out, because it's pretty impressive. The lighting coming in just creates this beautiful warmth in the room, and then you have the pure white, almost like a polar bear kind of carpet on the floor huge king-size bed and the lighting at the top and notice the height of the ceilings when you're looking up 
just it's something that you don't see in New York. It's shocking that we are in New York. And then you got your TV flush against this wall, windows going all the way around, so natural light. And that's one of the key things that you're looking for in New York. And then coming down on this side, you have the master bathroom. And this is just one of them. This is actually his bathroom. When you come in, he's got that all white finish going from the floor to the countertops, this beautiful mirror. And then the lighting goes on the side of the wood finish. And then you got two windows just letting in more natural light. You don't even need those lights, honestly. And how about this? Walk-in shower and an enclosed private toilet on one side. And then you got your closet just between the two of them. And then when we come out of this room, on the left, right before I walked in, you have closet number two. So generally, it'll be her closet. You can kind of tell it's a little bigger. Normally, you know, they're gonna have more clothes. It's even got kind of like a try-on area. You walk over here, you can see completely around. Let me see if I can see my, uh... yeah, you can see. That's crazy. I wish I had I needed this the whole time I was in New York. But look at the length of this island as we're going down and it leads you right into the bathroom. I don't want to say any incorrect information, but this probably could be the size of someone's whole apartment in New York. This bathroom just has an incredible finish going around, the space in here, it's got all the facilities, a walk-in shower with a window if you feel like getting some fresh air on a beautiful New York day like today. You even have a couch in the closet. And just stand over here for a second. I mean, this, this is definitely, I've been in people's apartments where it wasn't this big. This is just the closet. Just one of the closets. And then we'll head out of this room. Follow me. And you have the second office in here. Perfect. It's got the same city view as the bedroom did. Couch to sit down and your computer corner desk area. Let's come back towards the living room and let's go take a look at the kitchen. Follow me. Here we are. So before I go upstairs, I wanna take you through this kitchen. It's, I'm at a loss of words, follow me. So bear in mind, this is a dining room in New York City. Can someone pinch me because I must be in the deepest sleep of my entire life. The design just on the wall alone over here backing the living room and then on the other side, you have a floor to ceiling mirror. So it emphasizes this already big room. You have these two designer tables stacked next to each other and then the same type over here but they're split up almost into like a fancy new york diner but it's i don't want to insult this place by calling anything in here a diner but it really kind of gives that home sit down comfortable vibe i would love to see a group of people sitting here having an amazing thanksgiving or a huge christmas or something it's just inspiring and like i said you have that window view that you can see directly into central park from here if you're sitting on this side and then looking up huge height of these ceilings and the interesting detail in the lighting it, it's just stuff that you don't get to see in your average new york home and it's going to take us just off the dining room into the kitchen follow me this way and look before we even get into the kitchen look at this door it almost looks like cartier bracelets in a way in a way you know that's my take on it but when you come on in take a look at the floors which actually, now that I think about it, might be the wrong thing to mention because look at this kitchen. This kitchen is all I need to be talking about. Wine cooler, storage, two massive fridge freezer. And then over here, look at this. Look at that storage. Everything's so organized and clean, flush against the wall. You have your Gaganau appliances, your dual ovens. You have your microwave convection oven down below, a massive wolf gas stove, the hooded vent above, something that you would see in a restaurant. And I just personally love the stainless steel finish. It's very executive and you just feel like you're coming in here and you're not leaving. You can't cook a bad meal in here. If you threw just ingredients onto a plate, it would come out like a five-star dinner. And then something that I would appreciate very much is having my spices just look at me and they're not just looking at you right off the, the place where you're gonna be cutting all your food and seasoning. It's labeled, so you know exactly what each and everything is. It doesn't get much better than that. Storage all the way around, and then your sink right over here, and it's looking into like a corridor, a 
of other beautiful properties in the building. It's almost like the heart of New York right on this side. Second sink over here, <laughs> yeah, I must have missed that. There's two sinks. And then coming a little bit further down, they almost made it. So that was kind of like a diner, very fancy, beautiful diner. This is like a countertop that you would see the diner, but once again, it's almost like an insult. This thing, it's so well done. The wood finish, right off the stainless steel finish. And then even here, this is like a coffee section. You have a, another stainless steel cabinetry, drawers, everything, lighting above just for the coffee. And every, again, everything is labeled. And then coming a little bit down this way, a nice desk area. Listen, you have your kid here working, doing some homework while you're in the kitchen cooking. It's actually really ideal. And I got a window right in front of them for a little inspiration. But over here is something that I would just be so in love with. Look at this the see-through pantry, so much storage. And besides that, even labeled down to the type of product, popcorn, chips, pretzels, dried fruit, nuts. It's, it's just something that must take a long time to get done right. And honestly, at this point, I just wanna live like this now. I just wanna have everything organized. Coming a little bit further down, the pantry storage continues over here. Look at this, your pots and pans, all your valuables, storage on the other side. Something that you don't get to see a lot in New York is storage, and this place has almost an abundance of storage. And it takes us down to the second half bathroom. And this takes us back into the master hallway over here. And look, right back into that living room. So now that I showed you the first floor, all of that was the first floor, let's take a look at the second story and what it has to offer. Follow me. This is still my favorite part of the house. I just love this whole design. It fits right into the wall over here, but take a look. Look at this, you have more places for books just like your family heirlooms just hanging up right here, perfectly well lit. And just looking back down this side, four windows, you have that two-story, almost like a loft feel. These little circles that light up and change colors, and then look at this light fixture dead center, almost like raindrops just falling from the ceiling. It's beautiful, and then right behind me, what do we have here? This is gonna be your swivel door entry. Upstairs, den, game room, loft, whatever you, Whatever you think this should be. The way it is right now, this is perfect for a big family. You have this wall of glass going across one side so you can still see the stairs and that beautiful chandelier, but the ceiling in this room is more of a wood texture. And then you have these circled like orb lights. And here's where your third fireplace is. So you have one in the living room, one in the office, and then one up here. So all the places that you'd like to keep warm during the winter, you can do that right there. We have a ping pong table, as you can see behind me, a huge, super comfy looking couch. It looks very soft. The same long wood planks on the floor. And then one of the best, most amazing parts of this whole property. If you come on this side right over here, let's see if the camera can capture it. You have that view of Central Park just from this window. And here, I'll even hold the camera and show you. Look at that. Just absolutely beautiful. And then we'll come off of this room. Come off of this room. Should I try to do a putt? <laughs> so I'm just staring at uh, Central Park. I'm gonna play some, wait, that didn't count, that didn't count. I'm just staring at Central Park and I'm just gonna well, in my defense, it's a ping pong, so probably the wrong thing to do it with, but you get the you get the, the vibe. You're staying here, looking at Central Park, hitting a few swings of golf. It doesn't get much better than this. Going through this door, I'm, I'm in love with this door, and the best part is it's almost like soundproof. I can't hear anybody downstairs. And that same pillar that we had on the first story, it almost continues right up to here. So you got this beautiful structure just going through the property. Door has soft clothes, look. Beautiful, no need to worry. Then follow me down to this side. Coming around this corner. Here we have kind of just like a wet bar kitchenette area. Takes us into the first upstairs bedroom. 
This bed is massive. You would not expect this to be the guest bedroom. It's even got a desk facing the city so you can just have that amazing light source coming in. The windows are three panels each. So you got six panels total, tons of natural light. And then the same Central Park window from right here, I can see all the way down at Central Park. Coming across this room, I mean, look at how much furniture you have. Once again, easily this is someone's entire apartment right here. We're gonna go into this room. This is that kitchenette that we walked by. Come a little bit further down. And we have the guest bathroom right here. This sink, just one beautiful piece. Got some texture and you have that walk-in shower with a tube looking shower head. The shower head and the handle I've never seen before. Um, and then I have a really fun surprise for you guys. So with this thing, come right over here. I'm gonna hold it up and then check it out. You have a sci uh, cellar, a wine cellar, a wine room, wine cellar, and check it out. You can put all your favorite bottles of wine, store them, and it's temperature controlled, of course. I mean, in New York City and anywhere, that's impressive. Cool. And then uh, we'll cut through the kitchenette. Follow me. This way, passing this wall again. And this is gonna take us to the rest of the guest suites. So follow me. Just like in the master wing, it has the slide pocket door. So when you come in, you can kind of just keep it really private. Boom. So now this is just the guest area. No one's gonna come up here. No one's gonna disturb anybody. And then right behind me, well, right in front of me actually, you have the second upstairs guest bedroom. Coming in, this room is honestly shocking. It has a corner view of windows. I can see directly into the city. It has a place to sit and just admire it all. Floor to ceiling mirror so I can check out my outfit. See that my pants is kind of slightly stained right there. And then just off your own ensuite. I mean, it just, it's unbelievable that this is all in one place. It has a walk-in shower and it has a soak-in tub. A view right by the toilet. So if you're sitting on the toilet, you're looking out in the city, you get some natural light. Listen, I had to mention it. That's, a, that's an amazing feature. And it just keeps getting better. Each room is more impressive than the last. Well, that sign said, don't touch this closet or else. I'm gonna listen to that sign. So let's keep going. As I walk further down, it takes us into the mud room, which if you don't know what a mud room is, it's kind of a place where you kick off your shoes, hang up your backpack, put your sports gear, whatever the case may be, but this is it right here. It's almost like an extra walk-in closet. And then on my left, you have the wall of just guest bedrooms. This light fixture, we actually saw this same light fixture in a house in Boca Raton in South Florida. So I just, I immediately recognized it. But if your closet's on one side, you have your bed on another side. That looks so cozy. The bed is just tucked into like a little cubby area. This desk, tell me you don't wanna sit here and just create inspiration at the least. Be inspirational right here. And then the same style en suite on this side with a window. So when you're in the tub taking a shower, all you're seeing is beautiful New York City. Coming out, follow me again this way. Just across from this bedroom, you have your laundry room. And you know, normally I wouldn't walk into a laundry room because what you do your laundry in there. But I'm gonna show you this because of the size of this. I'm taking multiple steps in here, two units, washer dryer, washer dryer, and then staff quarters in this door. And it actually connects to the mud room. So they have easy access to go in uh, in one swift motion and then places to hang clothes and wash up and store. It's, it's just, I mean, even details, they all slide out. I mean, what, this is a laundry room in New York. I, I have to keep emphasizing it. As we walk further down on my right, we're gonna have another bedroom. Right off the hall, come on in. I love how in each room they have a, like an, a theme almost. Some, one of them was orange, one of them was blue. This one's gray and neutral. To me, I don't know if it's a boy or a girl, but I love this room. This is the kind of room that I would probably want. It's spacious. Look at the space in this room. Just absolutely unbelievable. You have the closet on one side, this huge desk overlooking a massive window, this swinging chair from the ceiling. I don't even want to sit in it, but I know it will support me, but it's just so special. And then on that side, you have the 
ensuite bathroom. And as we come back out of here, we have the final guest bedroom. This one's more sports themed, but it's the same thing. The size is immaculate, windows on each side, a place to get some homework done. And you have your ensuite bathroom over there. I mean, is there anything this place does not have? Comment down below, I've seen it all. So I just wanna say thank you for coming on this tour with me. This is the most expensive house that we've ever done a tour of on the channel. If you like this video and you wanna see some South Florida properties, here's a little playlist I made for you. And I wanna give another shout out to the listing agents for allowing us to even come in here and do this tour. Follow me on Instagram to see some extra footage behind the scene content. And if you have any questions about the music, the property, anything like that, it'll all be down in the description below. Thank you, love you, care about you. I'll see you at the next one.